analytics really starting to creep into the game because more and more teams are saying the more you go for it, the better your odds of getting it, the better your odds of scoring six points instead of three. They took a chance there. It just didn't pay off. Yeah, right here, the anti-analytics guys go thumbs up. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the bandit. They run. Devontae Freeman. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that's going to move the chains. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now the pitch to Freeman. Working for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. He completes it to Julio Jones. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. And that's the connection, Ryan to Jones, that this defense obviously has to key in on. Certainly feels like they got the party started with that one, doesn't it? And when those two get in sync, it just scares the heck out of defenses because he can hit Julio Jones in a short zone, and he can take it the whole way. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there and gets the good defensive position, able to affect the play. Second and ten now, Ryan. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Whitney Merciless in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Let's go. Third and long. It's Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. This is a question of who wants it more. Easy to get stuck behind all the big bodies, but you've got to find a space and fight forward for the first down. job to break the one tackle but not much daylight after that as he's brought down well, now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play he's going to get it running right and he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are in for six. 
And Charles, when you catch that toss going right or left, really, but right in this instance, do you go straight for the pylon? Is that where you're going? Well, typically you want to try and maneuver people a little bit so you have some space to get to the pylon. So I want to make sure I try and move them a little bit to the inside, and in this case, to the left, so I can get to the right side and get to that pylon and wink at it as I go by.